Hi, I'm Mark Valiant, President and General Manager of Great Canadian Van Lines. We have produced this series of packing videos to assist you, the do-it-yourself packer, with proper packing procedures. Applying the techniques presented in these videos will ensure that your goods arrive safely to their new destination. You can also find a number of additional packing tips on our website at greatcanadianvanlines.com. Thank you for watching. Two cubes are generally used to pack smaller, heavier items. In this case, we'll be packing some books, DVDs, and CDs. Now, it's very important to ensure that you place enough tape on your carton, especially due to the heavy weight of these items. So you should have a strip across the bottom, and then at least one strip on each side. And it's also very important to ensure that your tape is fastened, so run your hand along it. Okay. Place a little bit of crust in the bottom of your carton. And now we're ready to start wrapping our books. Now I've pre-arranged my books based on their sizes, so it'll be easy to stack them into my cart. The process is, place your book on the center of your stack, fold up your paper once over, and wrap it and place it into the box on its back. And you continue doing this with all of your books that are similar in sizes. I've completed packing my two stacks of books and I have some room at the side of the stacks as well as at the end of the stacks. So I'm going to fill in this remaining space with my CDs and DVDs. Now like books, the covers of these items should be protected, so we wrap them individually. Place your first CD on a sheet of paper, fold over your sheet, and you continue doing this until you're at a point where the size of your stack equals the space that you're filling in in your carton. It's not uncommon for the average person to have CD or DVD collections in excess of $1,000. In the case of a large collection, what we would normally do is pack the collection on its own in a separate carton, and this carton would be labeled later on as a high value product. We'll be talking about that uh, later on in the video. So now, same thing with your DVDs. Place a DVD on a sheet, fold over your paper, and continue doing so until you fill in the space that you're going to be working. I've completed packing my two cube with my DVDs and CDs. And one thing to uh, mention uh, that's very important is when you're placing these into your carton, make sure they're placed in an upright position. This will protect the disc. I have a little bit of room uh, left in my carton, so I'm going to Fill in any empty spaces with some crush, just to prevent any shifting or movement within my carton. And the last and final step is to seal our box. Fasten the tape. 